Hey guys, what is going on? It's Justin from Vonix Entertainment, and welcome to this week's Zero Location video in Destiny 2. I know it's been a little while, I'm sorry about that. I've been gone uh, for quite a while, and I am finally back. So I will be making these Zero videos again uh, every single week. Now, I did miss out on a lot of cool things while I was gone, including... Oh, by the way, Zero this week is on the EDZ. And he is over in the Watcher's Gray, Watcher's Cove down here, up by the ship. Uh, but I did miss out on a lot of cool things, such as the uh, prestige of Spire of Stars, as well as also the prestige of the, uh, what is it called? Uh, prestige of the other raid, the Eater of Worlds. I missed out on both those. I haven't gotten around to them. I would very much like to, uh, as well as also the new DLCs coming up. And also, Black Spindle is out, if, in case you didn't hear. I'm going to try to make a video on that as soon as I possibly can. Uh, but Black Spindle is back in Destiny 2, so we're going to try to find that uh, eventually. Bazaar is up here, and he is selling his ISO Chronicle Ingram, as he always does. As well as also he's selling, the for the Hunter class, the Trick Sleeves, uh, which they increase sidearm ready and reload speed uh, while you're critically wounded. Uh, swapping to a sidearm increases its damage, which is really nice because there's some good sidearms out there. However, I'm not a big fan of sidearms, so I don't like to use these too much. For the Tank class, he is selling the Crest of Alpalupi. Uh, you generate one extra orb of lights whenever you activate your super, as well as also you have a healing pulse whenever your barricade is activated. This is something that's really nice. So the extra orb of light, not so much, but the healing pulse on your barricade is something that is so great. It works so well in pools during Callus, as well as also during so many other places, such as uh, in the... Uh, Edero Worlds, it works really nice. In the Spire of Stars, it works really nice. Everywhere, it works really great to have. PvP, putting up one of the big barricades that no one can really shoot you behind, and being able to heal from that. That's something that's really great to have. For the Warlocks, he is selling the Eye of Another World. Now, it highlights priority, priority targets and improves your regeneration speed of your grenade, melee, and rift abilities. So, all of your abilities... Uh, you're going to recharge them faster whenever you have this helmet on, which is really great to have, especially if you are a Voidwalker Warlock that's uh, consumption, because then you can just consume your grenade for health, which is something that's really nice to have. And it also highlights priority targets, meaning that it's just going to put a border around them, which makes it easier for you to see. Uh, that's nice for PvP, just because you can see Guardians from a longer distance. Uh, then he is selling the Huckleberry for his weapon of choice. Uh, the Huckleberry is a submachine gun that is a primary. Uh, it adds increased rate of fire and recoil while you're holding down the trigger. And kills with this weapon reload a portion of the magazine, meaning that you get kills over and over with this. It's just going to keep firing, and it's really a great thing, especially with the Catalyst. Uh, then it's got a couple other things. It's got ricochet rounds, which are nice. Rampage, which is something that is really great for this. Kills with this weapon temporarily can't grant, give you a increase to damage, and it stacks up to three times. And that's something that's really nice for the Huckleberry to go with this perk. And then, of course, three of coins and the five of swords. If you do Nightfall's five of swords, is something you want to have if you don't already have it. Uh, three coins, I don't really like them in Destiny 2. But let's see. Actually, I'm on my Hunter, so I would get nothing from this. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. I'm sorry it's been such a long time since I've gotten back into this. Uh, but if you are looking for the Destiny 1 Zero Location video, there is a video that is linked down in the description below on where you can go to find that. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all next week.